Now let's talk about a cubic equation, cubic polynomial equation. Let's say we have an equation x cube plus 64 equals 0. And we want to find out the solutions for this equation. So first thing is found out if what is the degree of a cubic equation? It's three, three, right? Yeah. So it will have three roots. OK, and we have to find out those three roots. One can root you get is. Sorry, can I say what I think it is? Yes. I think X equals to four. I think it's like you get one real root, but it's repeated, so it's four. Four. Um, so if you take four, so four cube will be 64. Yeah, that's oh, right, right. I just I wait. Could it be negative four? Yes, it will be negative four. OK, yeah, because I was like this uh, cube root of 64 is four. I know that, but then it's just yes. a little. Yeah, yes, exactly. So here one root. Yes, one root can be guessed very easily. So one root is X equals negative four. That's one root. Now we don't know for sure that other two roots will also be negative four. We can't say that uh, with certainty. Okay. What we do, what we do in this case is we, we will be using two formulas. So the very first formula is it's called sum of cubes. Sum of cubes. This formula is if you have a cube plus b cube, this can be factorized as a plus b. A plus b multiplied by a square minus ab plus b square. Oh. If you are interested in its derivation, we can do the derivation as well sometime. But uh, just for the purpose of solving this equation, this is the formula that we'll be using. But uh, you should always be curious that Mr. Inda, how this formula is coming. Then the next formula that we will, we will be using is difference of cubes. That is, if you have a cube minus b cube, then it can be factorized as a minus b multiplied by a square plus a plus b square. Um, I think these have something to do with, uh, for example, if it was like a plus b times uh, a plus b, like a plus b squared, this would be the equation for it. So it it's like a plus b times a plus b squared, but this is the equation for it. So. Well, um, it is derived from the whole whole cube formula. If you have a plus b whole cube, then we write it as a plus b times a plus b whole square. OK, then a plus b whole square. Is a square plus b square plus 2ab. Then if we multiply these two, we get a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. And then to get the value of a cube plus b cube, we just bring the other two terms on the left side. So we can discuss its derivation later. Uh, it, I think it is in one of the lessons. Yeah, I mean, when I was doing a little bit of like uh, multiplying binomials on Khan Academy, it just like it said, you know, a, uh, a simple way, like a formula for a plus b squared was a squared minus um, a b plus b squared. So. Um, I was just yes. thinking like if that equals that, then it's just a plus b times a plus b squared. Yes, yes, a plus b times a plus b squared. That will give you the formula for a plus b whole cube. Yeah. But here this is different. This is a cube plus b cube. Yeah. Oh, OK, yeah, yeah. yeah. OK, these two are not same, but oh. it is derived. Yeah, so remember one thing always that this is a misconception that students have that a plus b whole cube. It's not a cube plus b cube. It's not this. There are other terms involved as well. We will do this when we do binomial theorem. It's one of the lessons. Binomial theorem, we'll discuss this. How to expand a binomial expression. But uh, for the purpose of this lesson, Bhavna, uh, you can just note down these two formulas, sum of cubes and difference of cubes. Oh yeah, one second.
Okay, yeah, I'm done. All right. So let's just let's now solve this equation. So we have x cube plus 64. Now I will be writing 64 as 4 cube. OK, so now this is actually sum of cubes x cube plus 4 cube and I will apply this formula. You can compare it in place of A. We have X and in place of B we have 4. So I will write it X. Plus 4. Times. X squared minus AB will be 4X. Plus B squared will be 4 squared that is 16. OK, now see we have two factors. This is one factor. This is another factor. This is one factor and this is another factor and their product is zero. That means. Either X plus 4 has to be equal to zero. Or X squared X minus 4X plus 16 has to equal to be equal to zero. Yes, and this first relation will give you your first root that you guessed also. This gives us X equals negative 4. This is the first root. OK. Second root we'll get from this relation. So we have to split the middle term, right? Well, in this case, I don't think splitting the middle term middle term would work. I don't think we can get factors of 16 such that we get negative 4. Splitting the middle term method works in some cases. It won't work in all the cases. OK. So in this case, we will have to apply quadratic formula. OK. OK, so let's let's apply quadratic formula. So X will be equal to. Negative B, so uh, let's just write A is A here is one uh, B is negative four and then C is 16. So negative of negative four will be positive four. Plus and minus square root of B square minus four is B square. That means negative four square, so that will be 16. Minus 4 times A, A is 1, and C is 16. OK, then 2 times A, A is 1. OK, so 4 plus minus. So that's just 16 minus 64, because 4 times 16 is 4. Um, yes. So it'll be negative uh, 48. Yes, negative 48 over 2. Now here comes the role of complex number. So now we have square root of negative 48. So can you write it in terms of iota now? No? Square root of negative 48. Uh, yeah, one sec. Uh, oh yeah, it's just. Uh, is it four plus or minus i over two? Or um, no, it's no, it's a uh, negative one. Wait, um, four. First time writing four plus and minus. What is the value of square root of negative 48? It's Two. one, I think, because um, iota is the square root of negative one. And yes, let's let's do it. Negative 48. So four I can write is a perfect multi like a uh, multiple of four. So it's one. Perfect multiple of four. Like you can divide it perfectly by four. We can. Yes. No. Uh, so here we are not finding powers. Pavna, you are getting confused here. Oh, uh, OK. Wait. We will write the prime factors of 48. Forty eight can be written as 16 times three. Right. Then 16 can be written as 4 times 4. Now I will bring all these terms out. So square root of negative 1, square root of 4 square, and square root of 3. So it's just 2i times square root of 3. This will be 2i. I mean, this is i. Yeah, what will be square two. root of 4 square? Oh, wait, sorry, 4. Yes. And this is square root of 3. So, so square root of negative 48 is 4 root 3i. Okay? Yeah. So we get 4 root 3 times i over 2. So now we'll get 2 roots 4 
plus 4 root 3i over 2 and second will be 4 minus 4 root 3i over 2. And we can simplify this. 4 divided by 2 will be 2. two. This divided by 2 will get 2 root 3i and second root will get 2 minus 2 root 3i. So these are the two roots and we have our final answer. So what are the three roots? Uh, negative 4. Yes. 2 plus 2 uh, root 3i. Yes. And then 2 and minus 2 root 3i. Yes. Okay. So this is how we can solve a cubic equation.